So, here's one I totally forgot to make a video about. You may uh, have seen, well, hopefully you've seen the uh, Swire Mega Mod, one I did some time ago. And this is just another one of the uh, same kind of things, really. Got to clear this up a little bit more, but uh, hey. Take a bog standard Squire Strat. And you may get somewhere like this. Hopefully you don't, and you actually know what you're doing. But that was quite simple overall. Started off uh, the green base. Taped it off, simple enough, and put some yellow on. Taped that off. And sprayed it red. Then I set it alight. Before I got my blowtorch, so from one of those next time with this kind of stuff I'll give that a go to pick the uh, guitar up itself was I think 40 pounds to pick up a uh, 30 so you've got a nice sounding uh, one for 70 quid Oh dear, oh dear. Turn it over. Very small block, so you uh, know it's uh, a cheapy. But it's just, as it's a hard tail thing at the moment, it's not going to matter that much, but if and when it's necessary, and we'll do something about it. Now, if this actually means something, and I've destroyed a guitar that I shouldn't have done, you can uh, obviously berate me for that. The tuners on here seem to be uh, quite good. No need to change them as yet. Well, I will put this through its paces one day. Unfortunately, well, as per normal, I've botched up the wiring, so all this has got to come apart and something to be done. If and when that happens, I think it's more like a if at the moment. I'm struggling with my health a little bit at the moment, but uh, hey, it's no good moping about, is it? But hey, we will see how this goes in the future. Now for something completely different. Hmm, so, as I say, it's different. Now, if you remember, it was competition time a few weeks ago, and it's time to announce the winner. Now we'll go through these. Peter? No. Oh, Nick in the States. He's got one colour right, so he's in the lead at the moment. Check out his channel, it's uh, more than acceptable. Oh, Randy, dear man. Not one right. Not one. Trouble with you, too patriotic. Of course, you did nick the same colours from a real flag. Terry Bear. Two colours right. No, Ian. No. Oh, my. Yes, yes, I, I've got the winner. I think I was just to consult the notes that my uh, niece sent to me. Well, she she actually just I just spoke to her on the phone, so it's not my fault, and you can't go after her because she's only seven. Now let's see. Oh dear.
Hmm. Dale Palmer is a lucky young man. Uh, or maybe not so, let's say early middle age. He said blue, purple and yellow. Right colours. But the actual correct order was blue, yellow and purple. And so Dale has blue, purple and yellow. So I declare that young man the winner. So, if you can get in touch, young man, probably via Gmail, I think you hopefully know how that's going to work, because I'm not quite sure. If it doesn't, well, we'll get in touch another way. And you will be receiving, hopefully only in a matter of a week or so, a prize. I still haven't really uh, figured out what that prize is going to be. But, uh, will be something interesting. I don't know which part of the world you're from, even. But, uh, if you're a true born Englishman, maybe. Or an Australian, or New Zealander, South African, Indian, Sri Lankan, Bangladeshi, Pakistani, West Indian. So I think I know where this is, you should know where this is going. But, I think that's it for the moment. Oh dear. Yep, that's it. Take care, boys and girls. Oh, boys and girls, I'll just go with this analytical thing. How come? I think we all have if we're watching this. <coughs> I've got 96 percent male viewers but 4.2 girls women so what's those point two are those who can't quite make their minds up or is something going awry right that's it young Dale if you can get in touch and I'll be sending something to you Bye. Bye.